Thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I regret that St. Olaf College professor Molly Toon is unable to attend tonight's event and to, in, and to introduce Professor Luis Ramos Garcia for this award. As his former graduate student advisee and long-term colleague, she wrote a compelling nomination Eloquently and with deep knowledge and personal warmth, she would have done much more effectively, I think, in presenting uh, the, the true spirit of, of uh, his contribution. But in her stead, I'm truly honored to have the opportunity to introduce Professor Ramos Garcia. Despite having known him and his work, <coughs> excuse me, for only the past few years, <coughs> and mostly through his co-leadership of a Grand Challenges research project, I can say with confidence and considerable pleasure that Luis exemplifies the best of what this award is meant to recognize. In the contemporary context of presidential impeachment hearings in the United States, we are reminded almost daily these weeks of the crucial role of highly professional ambassadors serving simultaneously as representatives and as bridges. Luis Ramos Garcia is for the University of Minnesota, an ambassador in the best sense of that word, serving skillfully, sensitively, and humanely, both of those roles as representative and as bridge builder. He rep represents the university to many portions of the Ibero-American world through his distinguished scholarship and his many travels and connections. And with great impact, he bridges that world to the university, as well as to other communities locally, nationally, and internationally. Simply said, this university, its students, and proximate community groups have a markedly stronger relationship with human rights agencies, theater groups, academics, and underrepresented communities in Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Cuba, Spain, and a number of other Ibero-American countries because of the ambassadorial bridging initiatives of Luis Ramos Garcia. We owe him debt. Let me give just a few examples to illustrate, and these are far from exhaustive. First, for 20 years, beginning in the late 1990s, he has organized and hosted at the University of Minnesota the State of Ibero-American Studies series as a major international conference, which provides a unique opportunity for students and faculty on campus to host internationally re renowned scholars and theater groups. One of the letter writers for uh, Professor Ramos Garcia describes these conferences as, quote, extraordinary experiences of academics, educators, artists, political activists, shantytown community leaders, journalists, and victims and survivors of human rights violations from different parts of Europe and Latin America, end quote. Now that kind of ambassadorial work doesn't happen on a regular basis at this university. Second, Luis has served significant, uh, has received significant awards in recognition of his innovative work from national agencies in Colombia, Peru, Cuba, and Spain including in 2016, being invited by Casa de las Americas in Havana, Cuba, to be a jury member for one of the most highly reputed literary awards in the Spanish-Portuguese-speaking world. And he was the first US citizen since 1961 to be invited to this distinguished groups. How many person, personnel of this university have had major national recognition in four different countries? Third, with grand challenges and other funding, Professor Ramos Garcia developed a complex triangular collaboration linking distinct disciplines within the university, that is his own department of Spanish and Portuguese, and the Department of Art, together with local partners, including a labor union and theater groups, and international partners, particularly theater and human rights organizations in Colombia. That project is a model of the kind of bridging that the Grand Challenges program is intended to promote. And just as a side note, I have to say that his management of scarce financial resources is exemplary. 
This was not by any stretch of the imagination one of our largest grants, and it is fair, it, fair to say that he has done more on a per dollar basis than any other grand challenge project. <laughs> I, I never cease to be amazed at how much he accomplishes with uh, this the relatively small grant. Fourth, and finally, Luis has taken many undergraduate students to Colombia to collaborate on human rights initiatives. Through such first-hand immersion, his students live global engagement and intercultural communication, and often have personally transformative experiences. If you'll indulge me, I want to read briefly from one of the student's letters recently received, written on her own initiative to Provost Hansen, to uh, the, the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts, I was included on that mailing list. She says, I'm a current student member of the CLA class of 2021, double majoring in Spanish studies and sociology in the university honors program. I first participated in the freshman research experience program in the spring of 2018, working with Professor Luis Ramos Garcia in the Spanish department. As a first year student, I had no idea that I would be trusted with such great responsibility in an active research project let alone on a topic as important as genocide and human rights in Colombia. With Professor Ramos Garcia and the other members of his research team, I learned about genocide aftermath and the powerful ways Colombian women and other activists use the arts to combat trauma and injustice. These experiences are so ingrained in my memory that I would be unable to forget them if I wanted to. They have contributed so much more to my liberal arts education than my wonderful classes alone could have ever done. Thus, I jumped at the opportunity to work with Ramos Garcia for a second year, which was as enthralling as the previous one. Each event I attended in Colombia in 2018 and 2019 enhanced my understanding of the work being done in Bogota by activists and artist groups, not only in an academic sense, but in an emotional sense. I have learned through these personal connections and powerful experiences that it is crucial we be reminded of the humanity in what the College of Liberal Arts is dedicated to studying. As I enter my junior year in CLA, I am now considering graduate school and career paths involving research that I had previously never considered. The exposure to the world that Professor Ramos Garcia has given me has permanently altered my life path. And she's one of my <coughs> Much more can and probably should be said, but I trust that you have the point that Professor La uh, Luis Ramos Garcia is highly deserving of the Global Engagement Award. Thank you, Luis, for all you do.